What's going on guys, Ben here, welcome back to another video today. It is Bristol City at home. I was feeling very confident like this game until, well, the news broke out that Jack Grealish is out with illness for today. He will be back for Friday though, which is Bolton, which I sadly cannot go to. But you'll see the reason why next week, before the Leeds United game, hopefully anyway. So yeah, it's... Looking decent for Villa, seven wins on the bounce, but we do only have one fit centre back due to Darwin's being out with suspension. Anyways, yeah, let's see what Dad thinks for today. Right then, um, sorry, right, just let me concentrate on this drive. So, today, I'm, uh, I've got a, I've got a nasty, nasty feeling that we're gonna, uh, we're gonna drop points today. But I'm going to stay positive. So um, I'm going to go with 3 1 again. And as usual, I'm going to go with a, a Tammy double. And uh, I'm going to go with a John McGinn. And just to add a bit of luck to John McGinn today. Mm. Hallelujah, I'm walking <laughs> with McGinn. Please. So now we're going to have at a massive Villa fan, Nigel Boyle, do his. Um, Store predictions for today, and also congratulations to Nigel Boyle as his wife has recently had a baby. Hi Ben, uh, thanks for asking me to be part of your vlog. Um, so, uh, score prediction for Bristol City at home on Saturday. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but I'm still buzzing from uh, Rotherham away last night. I thought we were the lads did great, showed such fighting spirit to to dig out a win. And this team of lads that we've got now are absolutely buzzing and they're, they're going to get us up. So, on Saturday, it's been sold out for, for ages. Uh, Tammy Abraham loves scoring at home. So, I can't see anything other than a Villa win. Uh, even with Tyrone Mings out, I think, I think we can grind it out. So, I'm going for a score prediction of 3-1. Come on, you Villa boys! Thank you for that, Nigel. And now we have former Aston Villa player, Tony Daly, giving his intake for today. Hi Ben, thanks for inviting me onto your vlog to predict the score against Bristol City on Saturday. It's a game I've been really, really looking forward to and I think a lot of the Villa fans will do as well. Bristol City have been flying at this present moment. A full house expected, it should be an awesome atmosphere. Uh, Villa, seven wins on the bounce, being absolutely awesome. But what I like about this Villa team at the moment, they can win always at this present moment. You know, they play some unbelievable football, some attractive football, and some ugly football and cup results. That's what uh, getting, if you want to get out of this league, that's what you need to be doing. That's what Villa are doing at this present moment. Bristol City had a good run of form, uh, just below us in the league with a game in hand. So as I said, it's a really, really big game. My score prediction is going to be Aston Villa 1-0. Tough, uh, uh, tough, tough prediction this was. A 1-0 win. I'm going for Tammy Abraham to get the goal. Okay, he's due one. Okay. And by the way, don't forget to bring your lucky cap and your top Saturday to keep this run going. All the best. Come on, Villa. Thank you, Tony. So now today, I'm going to agree with Nigel and Dad. Go 3-1, Villa. Uh... I'm not feeling anything from time today. I'm feeling though Guinea to get a goal today. <coughs> so I'm gonna go McGinn to get the to get Hallelujah, one. Hallelujah! I'm walking with McGinn. <laughs> Praise his holy name. I'm walking with McGinn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a uh, McGinn. Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm walking with McGinn. Praise his holy oh, no. name. Sorry, right, go. On. <laughs> and then go Guinea, Huron, and and Wild Garden. Let's hope for the best, boys. Come on. <laughs>
time, nil nil. It's been an eventful oh, one. No shit, no Sherlock. <laughs> but there wasn't, there hasn't been any goal. Um, we don't really know what to say. We need to take a chance. So they've risked been taking it. Right. <laughs> Richland have been taking the chance. And the chance. player has got a span up for his head. <laughs> Richland have been taking the chance as well. We haven't. Richland put it in the net, but no. Nah. But, yeah, we haven't. We need to you know, throw ahead and score one. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous, you know, showing the courage, showing the strength. And you know what? I think if we get into the playoffs, which we have five points safe now, four points out of Bristol, we are going up if we get into the playoffs. I'm saying right now, we will go up if we get into the playoffs. Really, really good. And, you know, let's move on to Friday, shall we? Thank you. Bye. 